finally gone to Wind Hill with Al. I would have been able to see Rain one last time. Rain was dead, alone, missing. My job kept me busy. I was left here thinking about this and that, and before I knew it, all this time had passed. Well, that's about it. That, that's not a very good explanation for why alone wasn't here, but whatever. Okay, so he did something useful, like globally useful. Laguna is not as incompetent as he seemed a lot of the time. Uh, so, yeah, that's all of them, isn't it? Let's just explain the mission to defeat Ultimecia, then. Ah, straight to the heart of the matter. Just like a workaholic seed. Actually, I did everything else first, but thanks for noticing. Is it my turn? Yeah, make it short and easy to understand. I will talk however I want. Yeah, Sorceress Idia told me everything. Sorceress Ultimecia comes from the future to possess the sorceress of present day. Meaning she leaves her body in the future and sends only her consciousness here. Does that sound familiar to you? It's like when alone sent our consciousnesses back to the past. You're a smart one! My first guess was that someone in the future with an ability like alone was sending the sorceress back here to our time. But no, that is not the answer. So how does the sorceress come back to this time? You want to hear how? Of course! Hey, I kept this a secret to surprise you. It is because of me, Odin! I researched Alone's power long ago. I made out a pattern from the electric current running through Alone's brain. Once the pattern was determined, it was easy to mechanize. It may only be a toy right now, but in the time of Ultimecia, it is an impressive working machine. Which means that there is a machine which imitates Alone's power. It is I who made the first model of that machine. I named the machine Junction Machine Alone. It is a wonderful thing to know that my invention is used in the future. Junction Machine Alone. Oh, that was the... The good, that was Leo saying it. <clears throat> That's about it. So Sorceress Ultimecia came to know about alone from that machine. And L became Ultimecia's target. You can't blame Odin. It's useless. I sure as hell can blame him. You want to go outside? You want to fisticuffs? Yes. Okay, we continue the story. He's not going to let me fisticuffs him. Let's see. There is only one way to defeat Ultimecia. You must kill her in the future. There is nothing we can do unless we go to the future. There is no way to jump to the future under normal circumstances. Really, thank you for pointing that out to me. But there is still a way. It is because Sorceress Ultimecia plans to compress time. Compressing time with magic. What good will it do for the sorcerers to compress time? There may be many reasons, but it doesn't matter. Let's just figure out what Ultimecia is up to. Wait. <laughs> Why is she doing it? It doesn't matter. Let's just figure out what she's up to. Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> How do we find out what she's up to without figuring out why she's doing it? Uh, whatever. In order for Ultimecia to exist in this time, she must take over the body of a sorceress from the present. But the machine must have a limit. Ultimecia probably needs to go back further in time to achieve time compression. I, this is the part where it really starts throwing me off. Couldn't you just, like, compress a small amount of time and then, you know, another small amount of time and then a small amount of time? No, you have to do it all in one big go? Like, what is this time compression anyway? Only alone can take her back further into the past. That is why she is desperately seeking her. We must take advantage of alone's power. There are two sorceresses in our time, Sorceress Maria and Sorceress Adel. Once again, there are only two if we somehow transferred that power and then let that power die off, wouldn't we be safer? Of the two, Adel has not awakened yet. 
But once regeneration is completed, neither Laguna or I will be safe. Sorceress Adel is probably in the process of awakening inside Lunatic Pandora. Ultimicia will want to possess Adel if Adel wakes up. That will be a horrible event. Adel is a horrible sorceress. If Adel's consciousness wins over Ultimicia, Adel will first destroy this era. So, we must use Sorceress Maria to inherit Ultimicia's powers. That's all for the mission briefing. First, go to Lunatic Pandora. Alone's probably being held captive inside, so rescue her first. Then kill Sorceress Ada before the awakening process is completed. Now, we're left with Maria as the only sorceress of this era. Then wait for Ultimicia to possess Maria. When Ultimicia arrives, it's Alone's turn. Alone will send Maria back to the past with Ultimicia. Wait, isn't that what we don't want to happen? Alone will have to send Maria and Ultimicia inside another sorcerer she knows in the past. EDR Adel, that's up to Alone. Once Ultimicia is in the past, she'll use the time compression magic. We will see some influence here. I don't know what kind of influence, but once alone feels that she'll get Maria and Ultimicia off from the past. Maria will come back to this world. Ultimicia also goes back to her own world. What would be left is the time compressed world. Past, present, and future will all get mixed together. You will keep moving through the time compression towards the future. Once you're out of the time compression, that will be Ultimicia's world. It's all up to you after that. And off he goes. What the hell? I don't like this plan at all. So, in order per to prevent time compression from happening, we need to start the time compression process and then kill Ultimicia, hopefully in the middle of it. Uh, meanwhile, I do want to uh, challenge him to a, a card game, and hopefully he will uh, play the card that I want. I'm not sure if you can actually get it right now, but I'm gonna try. And he has played the card. This is a doozy. We finally find the Squall card. The Leo card. Laguna has it. I have questions. Unfortunately, uh, the only card rules that are here are Elemental and Trade Rule 1. So I don't get to see what other cards he has, so I'm going to play extra cautious here because I should be fine. Uh, really just kind of playing it until the last minute. I'm going to take that Squall card, though. Sweet, he can't take that, so I will take that. And he's gonna take that back, uh, but then I can take that back. And I win, he has played the card. You can get it this early. I thought you, you would have to wait till the next time you saw him, but indeed you can get it now. Give me the Squall card. One of the best cards in the game. Well, so is every other person, but still. That is awesome that we were able to get it. Yeah, once again, no open rule. I'll have to fix the, the rules at some point, uh, but that is not today. Let's take a look at the card that we just got. And, like, we are done with people. That is a good thing. It is actually the last card that you can get uh, on the list, I guess you could say, on the, the card list. It is damn good. It is just as good as Cypher's card. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to mean, but there's definitely some symbolism there uh, that they have the same thing just kind of flipped. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they flip it. They flip the top and bottom and then left and right. Either way, though, very nice card. I don't think it's uh, mods into anything that I particularly want right now. Uh, three, three stars. Three stars I, I don't uh, necessarily want to get. I think those are, are fairly common. Uh, but we are done, so can I go? 
they don't let me out. I actually have to choose the option. You can see Kiros and War just following me around, like, even though I'm off the screen. <laughs> that is awesome, but nobody else follows me like that. Alright. So you were briefed about the mission? I don't really understand it either. Yeah, not really. Will you do it? Of course I will. Like, why? Why Why am I accepting this from Laguna? All right! I still have questions. Let's go! We'll get aboard Ragnarok! Let's do the final briefing in there! I've always wanted to ride that thing, plus the name sounds so cool! It's the name for the end of the world! In Norse mythology! Like, have you not read any Thor comic? comics? Every time Ragnarok is brought up, they're like, We have to stop it! We're in the thing that you need to stop! All right. Everyone. From here we go straight to our final target, Ultimecia. Let's head over the plan again. Or go over the plan again, whatever. First, enter Lunatic Pandora and rescue alone. Next, you fight Sorceress Adel. It'll be a surprise attack. Show no mercy. Don't worry, I'm much more powerful than she is. Maybe. Now, here comes the tricky part. Ada will need to pass on her powers before being defeated. Maria, will you be willing to accept them? Wait, you can, like, you can combine the sorceress powers into one person? So then once again, pass it off to a dying person! Like, only one person has to make the sacrifice for the entire world. If they're already dying, why not let that happen? Yes. Good. Next, we wait for Sorceress Ultimecia to possess Maria. This'll be hard on you, Maria, but will you do it? Yes. And for the record, alone is not considered a sorceress. I've always thought that was weird, because she has some powers that I would associate with that. That's the spirit. Then, alone sends Maria and Ultimecia to the past, but only Ultimecia gets branded there. Alone, bring back Maria. Then, head to the future through compressed time. Ultimecia lives far in the future where none of us can technically exist. But we will exist there. There's only one way to make yourself exist in a world like that. Time compression. As friends, don't forget one another. As friends, believe in one another. Believe in your friend's existence and they'll also believe in yours. Is that something that I'm going to have to concentrate on? The people in my party actually exist. The people in my party actually exist. To be friends, to like one another, and to love one another. You can't do these things alone. You need somebody. Right, guys? What place reminds you of your friends? Imagine being in that place with all your friends. Once time compression begins, think of that place and try to get there, that's all. Hey. Leo and Maria just set that up. That place will welcome you. You'll be able to get there no matter what period you're in. You need love and friendship for this mission. And the courage to believe it. It's all about love, friendship, and courage. I'm counting on you guys. Love and friendship and all that sounds corny, but everyone seems to be up for it. You think it'll succeed? We'll try. Yeah, I thought you had to wait until this point to uh, get really his knees acting up again. That hasn't happened even in the, the flashbacks in a while. Yeah, I thought you had to wait till this point to get uh, Squall's card, but I guess you could get it then. It's not like it's that big of a deal to wait one more scene in which nothing happens. But, there you go. We have done a lot of work now. And we are free to maneuver all around the world, except for Lunatic Pandora. Do not go into Lunatic Pandora. Is it actually marked on our map? I don't think it is. Uh, the Lunatic Pandora Laboratory. I don't think that's where the Lunatic Pandora actually is, but uh, do not go uh, to the Lunatic Pandora. You can go everywhere else, no problem. Just, just not there. 
and we will go to a lot of places when we come back because that is going to do it for these parts of let's play final fantasy 8 i've been baller scuba i need to get back into the cockpit so i can show off my party but i have been joined as always by my ready to go through compressed time squad of Maria, Leo, and Zell. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>